In today's video, I am recreating iconic movie cars and just implementing them into Greenville. So without further ado, let's get into the first vehicle. So let's start off with a classic vehicle that we should all know is John Wick's Ford Mustang in 1969 Mach 1 but it's dressed up like a 429 boss. Now we have to pick the closest trim to this vehicle, so I picked the 1970 Falcon Stallion uh, Mach 1 trim with the black stripe, which I feel like is almost identical. Now I wanna pick the exact color, the most identical to the real life variant. It's like a dark stone gray and it kind of blends in with the stripe and I feel like this is color really represents it right here. Now the final results of this Mustang I feel like turned out really well. We didn't have to change the rims or anything because it already came stock. These nice looking uh, muscle car wheels and the color is very nice as well. It's got the black stripe. I know it's a double black stripe but it looks super similar so that is the first movie car and let's move on to the next one. Now this vehicle might not be as iconic as John Wick's Ford Mustang, but it is a exact identical vehicle that Greenfield implemented into the game already. This is Walter White's 2004 Pontiac Aztec in Breaking Bad. If you remember, his is a piece of garbage Aztec beat up and everything, and Greenville almost copied it. So as soon as you buy it with the color and everything, the wheel hubcap is already missing and there's not much else you can really do except for the license plate so i went to the dmv and tried to buy the license plate that is the exact numbers in the actual movie and it didn't actually work he had a new mexico plate but i just put breaking on it so yeah because it didn't really let me put the other uh digits so a review of this vehicle, we have the New Mexico plate in the back, we have the correct color and everything else, all the details are already on it like the missing hubcap and the broken wood shield with the blue duct tape. That's it for this vehicle and let's move on to the next one. The last iconic car that I'm going to be doing today is the 2006 Subaru Impreza WRX it's seen in Baby Driver. Now for all car nerds we should know this movie by now and we should know that that car does not actually exist in Greenville. So the closest vehicle to the movie car is the 2004 Sumo Box S and I feel like it has a very similar characteristic to the 2006. So we bought it and it's in black so we're gonna have to change the paint to like a bright bright red. So if you want to copy it here's the colors this is what the red I'm using. And these are the wheels I'm going to be using too for the vehicle. These are, I don't know what's, how many spokes they are, but uh, that's what they look like. So here's the final product of the 2006 Subaru Impreza WRX. I feel like it turned out really nice and especially those wheels with the color. It just matches so well. The hood scoop looks insane on it and the wing, I know it's a bit enormous, but it's the only one that I could find with a wing on it seen in Baby Driver. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below what I should do next for movie cars, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.